Back in November, I did a little video where I showed two different factory engraved Smith & Wesson pistols, a 1911 and a Model 29. And I asked people, which one of these do you think I should get? I really wanted one or the other, but I couldn't really decide. So I did a little poll in the video, and then I went out and bought the gun that I chose. Now, most people said, buy the revolver, and that's fine. Everybody has their opinions. But like I said, I went out and bought it, but then I forgot to show people what I bought. So I thought today I would take a second here and show you which one of the Smith & Wessons I actually purchased. Now, before I show it to everyone, I want to say one thing. If you're actually anxious at this point to see which one I got, or you still don't know which one I got, well, then you might be illiterate because the title of this video clearly says which one I got. The title card that you just saw a moment ago before the video started said which one I got. So if you don't know which one I got by now, eh, you know, that's on you. But uh, let's go ahead and take a look at it anyway, because it is the Smith & Wesson Model 29. And yes, it did come in this nice factory box. A lot of people ask, did it come in that box? Yeah, this actually came with it. This gun came in this box from the factory. Well, let's get this box out of the way right now so we can actually look at the gun. And let's go turn off the furnace. As you can see here, this is just a standard model 629. It's just been nicely polished and engraved. And this isn't laser engraving. This is actually old style tool engraving. So this is actually really nice. There's engraving on the barrel. There's some really nice engraving on the crane. There's nice engraving on the frame right there, actually on the side plate. There's engraving right above the trigger. And of course the cylinder is engraved all the way around. It also came with some really nice walnut grips that are really kind of fancy here. They've even got a nice little engraving on the bottom of them there. Just in case there's one or two uh, people that have lived in a cave their whole life and aren't familiar with a Model 29, it is a six-shot 44 Magnum revolver. This gun does have the four-inch barrel. When it comes to revolvers, I think four-inch barrels are perfect. If you get anything longer than a four-inch barrel, it starts to feel unbalanced to me. And if you go any shorter than a four-inch barrel, you start to lose a little bit of power. So in revolvers, four-inch barrels are great. And actually, in other things also, four-inch barrels are great. Us uh, shorter barrel things got to stick together. Now, what a lot of people are asking me, is this going to be a shooter? And I'll know it's not going to be a shooter. It's just way too pretty to be a shooter. I could just get a regular 29 to be a shooter. Uh, this, I did take it out to the range when I first got it, and I put about two boxes of ammo through it. So it has been shot. You know, you want to make sure it's uh, reliable and there's not anything wrong with it, defective from the factory. So I took it out and shot a little. But from now on, this is just going to be as a presentation piece. I'm actually thinking of a way to put it in a glass top box and maybe sit it on my coffee table in the living room as long as I can lock the box. You know, because none of my kids are going to break the glass and get to it. It. Now, a lot of people be like, well, burglars can get it. Not really living my life in fear of burglars coming into my house. So that's not my main concern. My main concern is just keeping my kids' friends honest and my kids honest. I don't really worry so much about my kids, but their friends I do. So if I've got some way to know if it's ever been opened or they have to actually break something to get into it, that'll deter them, I'm sure. Might get a shadow box or something to mount it on the wall because it is so pretty, you want to look at it. So there it is, my engraved Smith & Wesson Model 29. Now, I keep wanting to say 629 because everything I usually buy is stainless because I usually plan on carrying them or shooting them a lot. This one is blued, as you can see clearly from looking at it here. So this is just a Model 29. So there you've seen which one I chose and you've seen the actual gun now. So now, during my live chats, you jackals can get off my back. real dad.